And uh, start like you're normal, and then I'll throw in the style. Start like we're normal. <laughs> it's going to be tough. Uh, standing between uh, Wayne and Brad, they're going to sing a song Sit about you. <laughs> Uh, get away. Stop it. Get away. We really doing this? Yeah. <laughs> Am I late? Didn't you know we started at four? Wasn't it three? Oh God, what's the matter with you? How do I look? Should I answer that honestly? It was a qu uh, statement and... Oh, no, it was two questions. <laughs> I'll be over here if you need me. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> you're a volcano expert, and you're talking to the skeptical mayor, Greg. Uh, you're on the lip of a dormant volcano after it's beginning to show signs of life. Uh, she's gonna blow. <laughs> yes, yes. And, uh... Yeah, never mind her. What about this gigantic hole? Uh, well... Want a bone? This is a weird fucking looking thing, isn't it? <laughs> a mosquito came up and he bit bit me he took all my blood can you see how see i have a lot of blood loss <laughs> oh shit oh shit <laughs> right, so any old points and we're going into um duet They're gonna play a game with me. See you after that. <laughs> I have to give minus points to Ryan for not knowing the word orbit. <laughs> orbit is the name of the word. <laughs> hey, but. points, 200 points, 500 points, 1,000 points, 5,000 points, 10,000 points. I have no porn points to get. <laughs> Ever since I saw Boogie Nights, you know. I need a name of an unlikely... Cross-dressing man. Cross -dressing man was the first one I heard. And uh, we need a suggestion for the sort of crisis they're dealing with. Frizzy hair. Frizzy hair. Wow, that would be, uh, that'd be quite a crisis for a cross-dressing man, wouldn't it? Frizzy hair. So, Greg, you're cross-dressing. Uh-oh. Problems. Can't use frizzy hair. Can't use frizzy hair. People have frizzy hair. <laughs> Sorry, cross-dressing man didn't go with the sense. You know, we have a lot of transvestite viewers, and maybe they wouldn't think it was that funny. <laughs> what we need from the audience is a profession you wouldn't normally sing songs about. We had plumber once a Mortician. That was a good one. Oh, my God. You don't want dead people calling in. <laughs> I'm an advertiser, and I'm a groovy guy. I sit at home just thinking of stuff that you can buy. Lots of stuff that you don't need that will make... Fuck me. We had some dead guys complain about your language, so we can't use that. Some dead narcoleptic cross-dressing <laughs> yeah. circus yeah. freaks. How about taking a trip around Uranus? Well, Mr. Brady, I warned you about Viagra side effects. Hello. 
was feeling frisky, I went for a drive. I took all my handguns and shot myself alive. I consider myself quite a fugal frilla, but sometimes... Shut up! I went to the machine to take out some money And then I noticed there was something funny As I came closer, my heart, boy, it sank It was an ATM machine for a sperm bank Tarzan think you don't love him anymore Let's get back to Roots what do you mean? Before you come, Tarzan only have animals. Animals think Tarzan forget about him now. I mean his friends. I know. I know. Now we go on to a game called Fuck Me Silly. Your scene is, you're an Eskimo, and you have to go hunting. Two flies are on a piece of shit. One fly cuts a fart and the other fly says, hey, I'm eating here. I don't file my taxes every single year. I guess it's the IRS I really, really fear. I guess that's bad of me to show a lot of class. But every time I do, they seem to fuck me up the ass. Try sleeping at night, everybody. Get this out of your head. Oh, you'll never do it. And if they forget to ask a thing in a question or they take too long to think of something, I'll buzz them out. Okay, um, one more time. I'm terribly sorry. We've got somebody yawning and falling asleep behind Drew. Um, so can you um, not do that because you're in the shot? Give him liquor. Good. Give him liquor. <laughs> The top of the show. Who gave him a blanket? Okay. Ready to start the show? Okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we have to pretend we're at the very beginning of the show. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gotta pee. Yeah. Gotta Nearly there. Pee. Nearly there, Ron. Okay, here we go. Sam. Yeah, we're gonna get the people. Out of break. So big swing down. Yeah, out of commercial. <laughs> We have 90 seconds, and whenever you're ready, go ahead and start us. Ready, get set, and go. Uh, Garcon. Garcon, there's something wrong with me. Your waiter's in the bathroom. I'll go get him. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> and can we do one of those like you've just finished the game? So it's, so it's not over huge applause, Drew. It's just over, we've just finished the game, you're going to announce it, then we'll go into a big applause. So we've just end applause, and Drew announced it. It's all quite upbeat, though. Okay, Brian? Here we go. <laughs> Our first game is going to be a game called Let's Make a Date. This is for all four of you. Uh, Ryan, Colin, and Wayne you are going to be contestants on a dating type show, hoping to be, pick to be picked by Greg. I don't know why that would ever happen in real life, but that's what it says on the card. Uh, 
Each of them has been given a strange characteristic or identity uh, that's written on the cards. If you're all ready, Greg, off you go. Yes, but what's the point, Drew? <laughs> Since no one would ever pick me. Well, what you've heard is feelings. That's nice, Drew. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, but what's the point, Drew? <laughs> Since no one would ever pick me. Well, what you've heard is feelings. That's nice, Drew. Let's go. Hey, fuck you, Drew. I was just joking around, trying to get a little laugh, but it was just sarcasm is what it was. Yeah, well, words can hurt. I'm really, really sorry. Don't you think a hug is in store here? I've had Drew's ass, and now I want more. We're going to have a game called Props. This is for uh, all of you. They're going to divide... <laughs> Drew Carey! Something's funny. What is that in your face, huh? Go, 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 go. Points to Ryan for getting Brad's chair all wet. <laughs> I learned it right Oh, it's been stuck in my butt. <laughs> hey, it won't be the first time your butt's been wet. Hi, bachelor number one. If you were a lipstick color, which one would you be? I'd be lemon flavored ass kiss. <laughs> A lot of people said rap, but I wanted a style of music. So. Oh. What's up? What's up? <laughs> like to throw out a W to my homies? Okay, never mind. Okay, that was great. 500 points a peach. 100 a peach. <laughs> I got a peach. I got a peach. <laughs> okay. So, Sarah, you just have to pretend to be dead. Can you do that for us right now? Security! <laughs> Want to limbo? <laughs> I'm getting some... I'm getting some altitude! <laughs> Do you like Doogie Hauser? <laughs> I think we should be watching this. <laughs> Look at the size of my dick. And a uh, thousand points to uh, Ryan and Colin for just dragging those things around. Now we got into a game called... with another gag that's Out of the break into multiple personalities. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you some of the lines from my roast. Uh, what did somebody say? Jeff Frost said, Drew Carey is to comedy what Mariah Carey is to comedy. <laughs> Speaking of stools, we'll be taking a break shortly. <laughs> Colin and Ryan, let's hear the album uh, Songs of the Lifeguard. We interrupt your movie, Men and Back, for just a few moments while we tell you about a special offer. Call? I'm kind of tired. Why don't you take it? <laughs> well, fuck you, then I will. You know... We've got many CDs on this. I don't know if you knew this, but we have a campus minister and a 17-year-old in the audience. <laughs> hey, you wanted the free tickets to see a TV show? Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yep. 
I'm as much fun to make as I am to eat. <laughs> Care to find out if this is my real color? Not everything about this reindeer is tiny. My family came on the Mayflower. <laughs> Blind Jim. Blind Jim. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that was a great one. So, uh, Brad, you're a superhero, the new superhero, Blind Jim. Blind Jim. And... Oh, please. <laughs> what, they're saying no? What a surprise. <laughs> How about Crippled Carl? Is that okay? <laughs> Retarded <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> Herpes Hank. <laughs> I don't like they don't like the blind part. I'm sorry. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> Keith, does this look weird? Does that look weird? <laughs> a bit slower, but a bit more up. Slower and more up. Yeah. I hear that. Find a nickel for every time I heard that. Lower and more up. <laughs> Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Luce Bowles. And now with the circus report. Kissing everybody on the lips. Grabbing bread. Good thing I'm sitting down. This show would be canceled. valet parker this is my valet vest when you give me your car i'll treat it the best i will drive a thousand miles an hour around the block and you'll be got motherfucking children Stop, 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 stop it. Can't you see you're upsetting the host? Skydiver. Well, that one certainly was popular. <laughs> yes, it does look easy sitting behind the desk, hanging in place. Singing a song about a vending machine. Don't you know that it's really not my scene? Trying to think of something clever with a little twist. If we do another hold down, I'll slit my fucking wrist. Hey. 500 points to Ryan for giving the censor something to think about. <laughs> Nobody, nobody is funnier when they're pissed off than Ryan Stiles, but nobody. I didn't know we could say fucking all this time. Well, good. Yeah! I want to do it again. More, 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 more. Hey, and the bonus is we can see Ryan slit his fucking wrist. <laughs> slit his fucking wrist. Is this the easiest way to take this elephant's temperature? And welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Uh, for uh, this is how the go... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I can't even talk. This is how the game works. Uh, what happens is, uh, it's not even a game. This is how the show works. I kill myself. <laughs> and you get to cheer me on as I lop off different parts of my body. <laughs> going to a pat of acid. When my, down to my penis, and just my penis is hopping around, the game ends, the penis awards the points, and then you carry off the bloody penis on a stick while marching around the town square. <laughs> I think we got it. Hey, welcome back to Who's Line Is It Anyway, the, the show where everything's up and the points don't matter. Hi, welcome to Fuck Me Silly. 
All right, three contestants. <laughs> Pardon my language. I'm so sorry. It's a comedy show. Comedy show. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Colin is a space station mechanic asked to fix an emergency on the Russian space station Mir. Go ahead. Point seats to Colin and Ryan for that fine performance in that last game. <laughs> so let's see the Noah's Ark daytime talk show. Hello and welcome to When the Ship Hits the Fan. We're talking about boats, boats, boats. Drew, hang up the phone until it rings back. To That's how they get you. It's three ninety nine a minute, and you just keep. <laughs> All I can say is I've got quite a head. I love being a New York fan. That spider's fucked up. Yeah. And baby, if you were single, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-seven more games, and no one leaves the goddamn studio. Well, the brother got to be at the disc. <laughs> hey, listen, you did your singing and dancing just now. <laughs> okay, Mr. Perry. Okay. Bachelor number one, I'd like to lick you like a candy cane. <laughs> lick him a chocolate. <laughs> What do you get when you cross a gay man and a Jew? A hit Broadway show. <laughs> the scene is you're to. <laughs> Plug him in. Plug him in. Plug him in. It's unplugged. That's not the mic. <laughs> oh. I smell like condiments. Relish, mustard, ketchup, and cheese. <laughs> sure, now I can't rhyme in hoedown, but... Uh... <laughs> Drew, is that a Coke or a Pepsi you spill? Well, that was, uh, depends on who wants to give me money. <laughs> could be an RC, could be a 7-Up, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes great, though. I shall take pictures of you, sell them to Playboy, and we shall be rescued! based on suggestions from the audience and at the end of each little game I'm gonna award them some points and uh, points don't mean a thing because uh, Brad, Brad. We're fucking around I think Brad should apologize to you thanks Brad Let's go on to a game called Let's Make a Date. This is for all four performers, and uh, can I do that one yeah, more time? Yeah, it should be the first game. The first game. Oh, it's the Come first on, game? Come on, Brad. <laughs> laugh, of course, then Drew will 
applause set, and then we're going to big applause. Uh, if we can do it a tiny bit more up, Drew. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to pee in my pants if we don't. <laughs> Jazzy DJ Laura Hall. DJ Jazzy Laura Hey. Hey. My first guest, you're not wearing pants. Why is that? Uh, well, okay. well, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Is anybody else turned on by that last game, or was it just me? <laughs> Next game is called Medieval Gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so great if you could ever put that on the air. <sighs> Ooh. Guests! Hello! Have you ever been to Intercourse, Pennsylvania? Let us hear the puberty hoedown. When I was a young boy, I thought I'd never change. And then as I got older, I started feeling strange. One day I was standing, and then I saw a girl. And when I saw her booty, it totally rocked my world. Puberty's kind of a hard one without talking about jerking off and stuff like that. <laughs> I like to grab my penis, I pull it all the time. It's all going terribly, terribly wrong. What's your name? Let me come right over here behind the can. Ow! Shit. It's always funny until someone gets hurt. Kids are in the shop. Okay. Colin, your co-anchor is Brad. Brad, you only have a five-second memory. Yeah, like the sound guy. Screwball comedy. Birdman. Bert, what's Birdman? Igmar Birdman. Oh, Igmar Birdman. Birdman. Bird, oh. Birdman. Birdman. <laughs> Let's go on to a game called Film Dub, shall we? It's a game called uh, Film Dub, okay? <laughs> Excuse me, son. Now, I'm no palooka, but you can't come in and bring that bazooka. <laughs> this is cool as you can see. I'm a principal for thee. I'm the principal. That's true. And I'm fucking this up, man. <laughs> I just got a lot of again, man. Show commercial and we're right back with more Who's Line Is It Anyway. We're going to find out who the winner is. Had a little accident. Yeah, it doesn't look so bad at all. Ready? Greg, you're going to be the host of a daytime talk show. And Colin and Ryan, you're going to be uh, people appearing on the talk show. And Wayne, you're going to be a guy who's up in the audience asking questions. <laughs> All we need from the audience is a... Uh, so, Greg, here's your microphone. And Colin and Ryan, you're going to be uh, people appearing on the talk show. And Wayne, you're going to be a guy who's up in the audience asking questions. <laughs> All we need from the audience is a... Uh... So, Greg, here's your microphone. Whenever you're ready, hey, diddle diddle, cats in the fiddle. You know how it goes. Moisture and sports shirts. Name of your album is Songs of the Postal Worker. Take it away. Oh, you almost gave me a heart attack. I didn't see you coming there. You know, Carl, lactation is one of man's young clothes. Brad, this is Annalisa. She repossesses homes for a living. Don't hold it against her. Uh, instead, sing a song about her in the style of Bruce Springsteen. Well, I can't stop staring at your breasts. No! 
Yeah. Good night, everyone. <laughs> nice going, Brad. <laughs> this just in, Brad's still single. <laughs> I can't stop staring at your bread. Speaking of two stools, is this going to take much longer? <laughs> Thousand points to me. I'll never get that out of my head. Good evening. I'm Jezebel Spankbottom, and welcome to the 12 o'clock. And I shall make a British asshole appear. <laughs> oh boy! Everybody's going for the juggler tonight, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa. Everybody. <laughs> so we'll meet the winner, and they'll get to play a game. Come here, I got some. Isn't that the one right before that one? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you stupid English son of a... I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm sure it does work, but I think I'll just take the condom. Thank you. Oh, I won't need you. You can take a break. Thank you. High school today. And it's rough. I had a inner tough shit. I had a blind date. It really was quite bad. It was my first one for I'm Captain Ahab. You had the state. There were many highs and lows. She when I shouted, there she blows! Three points for the ball guy, one for every inch. <laughs> you can't say that on TV. I don't know, I thought I'd carve it into a little wooden boy. <laughs> well, I miss the 60s, I miss them quite a lot. I'd sit around listening to music it was really hot well i do a lot of yard work that's what's come to pass cause it's a cheap way to get my hands on grass <laughs> thank you thank you very much while i was shooting h <laughs> because i love cocaine <laughs> I do lots of yard work because I like a kid. <laughs> I remember the day I lost my virginity. I took my woman and we drove to the city. Let me tell you, brother, she felt like no other. Boy, was I embarrassed when I found out it was my mother. My William Shatner impression. <laughs> we'll be right back to Happy Waldo and the Salty Monkey. But first, have we got a deal for you? Yes, we have, Colin. You know, songs of garbage have made people happy throughout the world for years and years. 
And nowhere do they love their songs of garbage more than in Jamaica, a little country down south. Hey, speaking of images, you'll have to go to therapy to get out of your head. <laughs> okay, that was great. Listen, we're going to see commercial right now. Don't go away. We're going to find out who the winner is. We're going to come back and we're going to do something a little special with me. Have I mentioned my penis yet? Yeah. Went to an awful restaurant, they had to use these towels. And all the food was awful, tastes like something from your bowels. I had to leave so right away, cause it didn't really matter. What was I thinking, ordering the poo-poo platter? I think the sensor just exploded up in the booth. <laughs> the way the waiter blew me, I think that he was gay. Thought that he was gay. <laughs> exactly. You never heard of a poo-poo platter? You know how I like it with those shit-talking mushrooms on the side? Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So I check off on my salad, check off on my salad. <laughs> I'm glad I'm behind this desk if you're putting that wig on again. <laughs> so my, that's why the cameras can't see what I'm gonna do to you. <laughs> I'm a bunny on Viagra. I don't think you have it on right. <laughs> So I said, if you can do that, I'll shit cotton. Don't say it, man. Don't say another hold down. Don't you even say another hold down. Don't you go there, sister. I have had a transplant. It did not. Oh, shit. One more time! When it comes to hold downs, I'm doing another one. After the first one, I thought that I was done. Feel like such a fool, and I feel like such a twit. This is what I have to do to please the fucking Brit. I want to fuck you up the ass, too, but I can't help it. I'm a failure! Oh, oh no! Hello, I'm quite hung. And... Tonight's <laughs> winners is a four-way tie! Four-way tie! Everybody's a winner. It's like the Special Olympics. Uh, we're going to play a game called Dating Service Video. Dating Service Video. Well, I'm a Klingon by trade. But when I'm not funny, I sit here with this fucking thing on my head. feel like I've just been laid. 
Who wants some hot dog on a me? I also have two in the bush. Yeah, well, I'm hung like a horse. Laura's had her baby since we've started, so... It's your pocket knife. Oh, wait, I've got it in my pant pocket. Oh, no, wait a minute. It's in your pant pocket. Where is it? Where is it? They're getting close. I'm a hoeing and I'm a downing. <laughs> Hoe oh, down. Woo. Public restrooms. I love public restrooms. I love the way they smell. I walk in and take a breath and I just say, oh, well, I'll stay in there all day, no matter what it takes. And when I leave, I always eat those tasty urinal cakes. Dad, I took a shit. Took a shit. Explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Explosive diarrhea. Blowjob from the janitor. Blowjob from the janitor. <laughs> Blowjob from the janitor. <laughs> Look, I can move by myself. <laughs> Colin catches Drew in an intimate moment with Colin's wife, Ryan. Okay, and we have to do it 90 seconds, starting with the letter F. You're going to time us? And go. Fuck me. Fuck me hard. You're number one with me. <laughs> Keith, can you put this somewhere for me? <laughs> I still have the one you gave me yesterday. <laughs> Does this look weird on camera? <laughs> oh, I got home to my wife. I gave her a good, let me tell you. Whatever it is, it's got six dicks. <laughs> Get down there, oh, yeah. okay, great, great. Whatever it is, it's got five dicks. Thousand points each for keeping it clean.